1 million emeralds. That is the goal, but we currently have two. So we're going to use loads of different methods to become Minecraft's richest player and get to 1 million emeralds. The first method is very simple. All we need to do is chop some trees, then craft this wood into sticks and come to a village of prison and trade them with these guys for lots of juicy emeralds. And just like that, we've got nine emeralds already. So for the next 30 minutes, I continued working hard, chopping down trees for wood, turning that wood into sticks and then trading them sticks for a juicy emerald profit until I got a very strange message from my friend Gamers. You see, Gamers had heard that I was trying to get to 1 million emeralds and he thought it would be a good idea to make it even harder for me because the message said, if you don't get a million emeralds in five days, then I'm gonna leak your face reveal. Lol. Okay, I'm not really sure if he's joking or not, but we should probably move on to the next method because otherwise there's no way we're getting to a million emeralds in five days. After this next method, we need to make sure we've got fortune three on our axe. All right, so for this method, we're going to make use of the resources we've got available. Also known as the fact that we have the world's largest carrot farm. This is where fortune three comes in. We'll collect as many carrots as we can carry. Then we come down here and we can trade all the carrots for a bunch of emeralds. Nice, we're now at 397 emeralds. Let's repeat that a few more times. Let's see how much higher we can get. Wow, 1,552 emeralds. That is quite a lot of emeralds, but it's less than 1% of a million emeralds. So I think I've got a way to speed this up. Instead of bringing the carrots to the villagers, how about we bring the villagers to the carrots? This is going to be difficult. So if we put a boat there and there, then we need to let two out of here. Get in the boat. You always want to escape. Hmm. Yes, we've got one. And if we throw some carrots there, there's villager number two. Now I guess we just clear this like so, and the villagers are free. Oh, no, we probably should have waited till morning. Yeah, this is a bit safer. Okay, now we've got these two guys here. I'm going to put them in a hole with some beds and feed them a bunch of carrots. Wait, oh, hi, how Mark. did this happen? Um, get out. Oh, now the floor is going to look weird. So beautiful. Anyways, now it's time to upgrade the breeding hole. Okay, wow, this hole is looking so much better. This is going to be so useful to get emeralds. Speaking of which... Um, did I just hear a trident? Ow. Mine. Is that actually another trident guy? One shulker of emeralds. Wait, let me do some math. So one shulker has 1,728 emeralds. So if we divide a million by 1,728, we can see that we need another 577 shulker boxes of emeralds. We've definitely got to find a fast way to do it. Otherwise, my face is getting leaked. Wait, I think I've got an idea. So right now, this is the most intensive part. I have to manually collect all these carrots by hand. But what if we could find a way to automate this? That way, I could still collect a bunch of carrots when I sleep. And then in the morning, I'd be able to trade them for a bunch of emeralds. Okay, to build this farm, we need a bunch of things. The first of which is dirt. Now, if we just steal this turtle's habitat and flick this, our UFO will generate us thousands of sand. But we need glass, so if we grab some sand and head in here and flick this, now the asteroid will get us a bunch of glass. And... Okay, let's build this farm. Perfect, now all we need to do is plant the carrots. And lastly, we need two villagers. This is gonna be so annoying. Then if we use a boat, and now we don't want a farmer. Yes, perfect. And... Nice! How did that actually work? Then you should naturally run in, <coughs> in there. Go on, one more, go. Nice. Do you mind? Okay, and now we do the same thing, but for over here. Get in the boat. No, no. I don't want to hit a villager because that guy's going to smack me. Oh. Okay, apparently he's chill. Come on. Yes, nice. 
Let's go. Now this farm should be fully operational. I'm going to wait for the carrots to fully grow and then I'm going to AFK for 30 minutes and see how many carrots we get. And... Wait, what? I'm no expert when it comes to this farm, but I'm pretty sure that's not meant to happen. All right, I think I know what happened. All right. Let's try that again. Now, this time, everything was going really well and the farm was working perfectly. That was until it was time to check the carrot chest. Is that it? Yeah, I definitely have to find a way to fix this before I go to sleep. So that's exactly what I did. All right, it's the next morning. Let's see how many carrots we've got. One, two, three, four. Just over four and a half double chests of carrots. We could just trade them straight up for emeralds with these guys, but why not try and optimize the amount of emeralds we get? So for this, we need mushrooms, sugar, and spider eyes. Okay, I think I remember how to do this. Right, so we get some of these, water, and then just chuck these in. Perfect. And gunpowder. Nice. All right, perfect. It's nighttime. All right, now we need to be very careful. So we need to get rid of this guy. Nice. Now if we put this here. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Go on, get in. Get in. Let's go, he's in. No! Oh, god damn it. Zombie number two. It's time. Let's use the fence gate. Nice. Oh, quick. Infect everyone. Yes. Come on. Yes, it's working. Let's go. We've got loads of zombie villagers now. I'm going to add a roof so the sun doesn't kill them all. Ah! Oh my god, did not mean to fall in. Now we need to kill the zombie. Okay, now if I jump in here... Ow, it's quite dangerous actually. Let's go. Oh wait, no, they're burning. No, no, no. Let's go. He's the first one cured. No, don't infect him again. No, that is bad. They all need to cure at the same time. No, this is bad. No, oh, they're just all being infected again. Wait, if I just stand here, they'll only care about me. Then I'll just do it again. Nice. Ah, uh, I think these guys need another splash. Boom! Let's go, they're all cured. Wow, look at that, 10 carrots for one emerald. So that has more than doubled our yield. That means we'll get twice as many emeralds for the same carrots. Let's get trading. I spent about an hour grinding and pushing myself closer and closer towards that 1 million emerald goal. Everything was going great, and I was converting carrots into emeralds at near maximum efficiency. Even when the auto carrot farm ran out of carrots, I just switched to the manual method whilst the farm collected carrots in the background. I felt on top of the world, and for the first time, I thought this 1 million gold might actually be possible. But sadly, this feeling didn't last very long. Wait, that's only our second shulker box full, meaning we only have about 3,000 emeralds, which is 0.3% of a million. I don't even think this is possible. I've literally spent hours doing this. So that night, I went to bed thinking I might have to scrap this video. However, that night, I had a dream of a machine so powerful that it could make me an emerald millionaire in less than a day. It was literally the fix to all of my problems and the only possible way I'll be able to do this before the five days is over. There was just one big problem. In my dream, this machine looked insanely complicated. And luckily enough, ENXA4 has a tutorial on this exact farm. Yeah, I definitely didn't just see the farm on YouTube. Anyways, now we just need to build it. But where? I mean, this farm works, so we could build it here, but it's in the way. Hmm. Lol. Now you may be thinking such a complex machine must have a massive range of items that we're going to need to build it. Well, actually, no, it just requires these items. So let's collect them before this guy escapes to land. Luckily, there's a bunch of kelp here. All right, and I'm pretty sure we got loads of bones in here. Nice. Some hoppers, a few chests, some lava, and then a bunch of other random things. And now there's just one more thing we need, and that is ice. All right, perfect. And we're going to use normal ice because when we break it, it makes water. And it's a lot easier than carrying 19 water buckets. Wow, he's actually still here. Anyways, let's build this farm. We need to make sure we can't see any land. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Anyways, it all starts with this lily pad. Then we instantly destroy it with a block. And now we build a very intricate structure out of scaffolding. Oh, that's wrong. Four, five, six. But we need to be very careful to come out at certain points. Then we just keep going up. Okay, and it says this should be at Y69. Perfect. Then we go up. Oh, that's not up. 
then this way again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one this way, and one, two, three, four, five that way. And now it's 31 scaffolding. All right, now it's about to get interesting. So we place three of these on each side, then like this. And now we're gonna place lava. Because you see, this lava is literally gonna build the farm for us. Then we just build some more scaffolding. Now we break this, and now starts our timer. We need to get down to the other one. Ow, ow. Quickly pick up the lava and place that. Perfect. And that is gonna make our drop shoot. I don't know what I was worried about. Lava drops so slow. And we take that and we can just chop away all of this stuff. Right, now we need to come in here, place an invisible torch down and then pillar up to Y level 69. And now we clear this block and put a... Where's our dispensers? Oh, I'm pretty sure I put it somewhere random in the ocean. That was very stupid. How am I gonna find it? <laughs> yes! <laughs> so random. Why did that burn? Oh, it's, it's the lava. Okay, so dispenser. We'll put half the armor stands in there. Then a button and get rid of this. Now it's time to make our storage system. So we need to get rid of these blocks. Okay, nice. We've got our sorting system. Now I'm just putting my trust in this tutorial and hoping this machine actually works. Okay, so we break in here, break these, block, button, dispenser facing up, armor stands in there. Then we break this and we put a cauldron and strangely a piece of string on it. And then we surround this with glass. Okay. Right, now we come up here and here's where I've done something wrong. I think that's fixed. Sign there and sign there. Then water. Okay, now more water here. All right, now we do this one. Oh no, I think we messed it up. Ah, okay, never mind. We can just fix it like this. Perfect. Now we go like this. Now we replace this with water. Why is that? Why is that not water then? Hello. Okay, water. And now we build a platform in three, two, one. This is gonna be like a dock for our villagers to get them in. Then we put this there, like a little corridor. And now it's time for Operation Bubble Column. Help. Oh, we forgot to place the signs. And now we just spam bone meal. And we ran out of bone meal. Okay, it stopped growing. Break that and let's test it out. Let's go. I'm just going to leave that kelp just dancing there. All right. And now it's time to place you guys. Get it? Because I'm placing observers and you guys are observing this video. Yeah, I'm definitely getting tired of building. Anyways, now we're going to place four more of you guys. Then sticky pistons, composters, then some glass, some stairs, and some more glass. This is where the villagers are going to stay. So now we're going to build a few more of these going down this pillar. Not going to lie, I kind of feel bad for the villagers. This is not very comfortable. Okay, so we've got our pods now. We just need the villagers. Wait, where's our ocean villager gone? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's no villagers in this village either because I killed them all in a raid. Oops. Yes, there's a village here. Let's get some boats. Perfect. Now we need to kidnap five villagers. Yoink. Get in. No. In the boat. Nice. Where are you going? Nice. And who's going to be the lucky last villager that gets to spend his life in a box? You will be. Sorry, guys, you missed your chance. Now, you may be wondering how we're going to get this villager all the way up there. Well, it's actually built into the design of the farm. We dock the villager here. And if we break the boat... Oh, he needs to not have a job. Maybe if we break this and this. All right, yes, now it's actually working because he's trying to get to the composter. Now, all we have to do is push him up. All right, and this is where it gets clever. Now, we just replace this red stained glass with a composter. And then we just need to push him down. Perfect. And if we break it, he should fall right into the chamber. Perfect. Now, let's just do that with three more villagers. Here he comes. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. No. Yeah. Nice. Yeet. I am the captain now. Nice. Help me! Help! Wait, is he alive? Let's go. He was just out of render distance. All right, and now for this final villager, we need to do something different. All right, so for this one, we're going to push him in and then place the salt on again. 
break this. All right, now we need a composter there and like that. Okay, we've nearly finished building this farm now. And I really hope it's going to work because we've only got two days left before gamers might leak my face reveal. So we need to hurry up and build this redstone part. I think this is right, but if I get it wrong, then it's going to be so hard to fix. I'm pretty sure this is all right. Only one more redstone bit to go. Okay, the farm's nearly done. We just need to add the finishing touches. Like setting up the storage system, lighting it all up, adding ladders to get to the farm, and finally dispensing armor stands. Okay, and after a little bit more preparation, we're ready to try out this farm. We just need to get the bad omen effect. Now we come over here, go up here, and we go in here, and we just click this every 1.5 seconds. Let's put our chest plate on. Yeah, I should probably use an auto clicker for this. Because I'm going to need to do this for about 20 hours. I'm going to leave it running for about an hour and see what happens. Okay, I know I said I'd be back in an hour, but something very serious happened. I just came back into my office and I saw I was getting killed by vexes. So quickly, I tried to turn off my auto clicker and get out of there, but I must have left it on and switched my pickaxe, and then I just started destroying the entire farm with an auto clicker. <sighs> I've now fixed the farm, but we need to fix the vex problem. And to do that, we need beacons. So to do this, we're going to have to reinvest these emeralds into blocks. And now let's make ourselves a mega beacon. Um, hello? I think I actually made it too big, but it works. So first we'll get strength. That means vexes should have less time to spawn. Next we'll give ourselves resistance too, just in case. And then regeneration so we can't die of hunger. Then to be honest, I don't know why I got four because we only need three. But um, I guess jump boost. Whee! <laughs> this is pretty fun, actually. Anyways, we're running out of time because of all these setbacks. We've only got like a day and a half left. And this machine needs to be running for a full day. But wait, I've just looked at the replay and it looks like some of the emeralds are actually going straight into the fire. So to fix this, we need to expand this storage system. I mean, it's only got like 10 chests. And like I said earlier, we need 290 double chests of emeralds to get to 1 million. Yeah, we should probably chop some wood. I also think we've still got loads of hoppers in here. Perfect. And now let's build ourselves a mega sorting system. And now we finally have an epic storage system that can store 1 million emeralds. But right about now, I'm starting to get a little nervous because this farm has to work because if we don't get to a million emeralds in one more day, then gamers is going to leak my face reveal. So I nervously went out and got the bad omen effect, made sure all my gear was equipped and finally activated the farm. The very fate of my face was relying on this farm. Would it be able to get me to a million emeralds in one day? The first hour was hard. The raid mobs were spawning on my beacon, so I had to completely get rid of it and put it underwater. Then I was constantly worried about going away from my PC because I was scared of being killed by vexes. I really didn't want to lose my world even for a million emeralds. But eventually I worked up the courage. And at hour three, I noticed I was actually starving to death and the beacon was keeping me alive. But the knowledge that we had already collected 150,000 emeralds kept me going. The rest of the daylight hours went by until we hit hour 14 and it was time to go to sleep. This would be the longest I had gone without checking my computer. But when I wake up, I should be at a million emeralds. All right, here we go. It's hour 20, the moment of truth. Do we have 1 million emeralds? Let's go. Oh my God, we've actually done it. We have 1 million emeralds in Minecraft Hardcore. So now gamers won't have to leak my face reveal. And speaking of face reveals, watch me build Dream's face reveal here. 